space exploration. Oh, you're talking about the one from my I know, you're probably feeling a little nervous right now. But don't worry. Every astronaut has felt that way at one time or another. Even the heroes who went to the moon. But there is one thing they had that you don't have yet. Training. You're here today for flight training, the most thrilling experience that any astronaut candidate will ever have. Before you decide if it's right for you, let me introduce you to your spacecraft, the X-2 Space Shuttle. It's powered by solid hydrogen and can accelerate from zero to 6,000 in 60 seconds. So when you hear the words, go for launch, you'll definitely want to hang on. Now you've already been organized into teams, and soon each of you will be assigned a position. Navigator, pilot, commander, or engineer. The success of your mission will depend on all of you working together as a team. I'll be your Capcom, and in a few minutes, I'll give you your specific assignments. But first, our flight director has some safety instructions for you. Lieutenant? Remember the team number you're standing on. When the doors in front of you open, you will be directed to a flight station with that number on it. When you get there, please stand on the circles. During your orange team more intense training mission, you will be enclosed inside X2 flight simulators that produce deep space flying conditions such as turbulence and G-forces. Those who are prone to motion sickness or made uncomfortable by enclosed dark spaces, simulators, or spinning should bypass this experience. As you can see, astronaut flight training isn't like anything you've ever experienced before. It is intense, and if you would like to opt out, just ask any member of the ISTC crew for directions. As for the rest of you, report for your pre-flight briefing. It's go time. First with number six, followed by seven, eight, nine, and then ten will be back around behind the door. Proceed to flight station. Directions to the green team, less intense training area. Teams are awaiting your arrival at the landing site here at Dallas Mariners. Your mission is to get to that landing site. Your flight path to Mars will take you around the moon for a lunar gravity assist. But even with that slingshot, your trip will take three months. So we'll have to put you into hyperspeed. Hyperspeed activated. Don't worry, it'll only seem like a second or two to you. I'll give you a wake-up call when you get to Mars. Okay, now listen up. Here are your assignments. Navigator, you'll fire the thrusters for lunar orbit insertion and for descent to the surface of Mars. Pilot, on my signal, I'll need you to trigger the second state rocket. You'll also deploy the shield. Commander, you will be responsible for first stage separation and activating manual control for landing. Engineer, when it's bedtime, you will activate hyperspeed. You will also extend the wings for landing. Don't worry. When it's time to push the buttons, they will light up, and I'll give you the go. One last thing. In the event of an emergency landing, there are control sticks at every crew position. Okay, Lieutenant. Any final instructions for our new kids? When the flight bay doors open, follow the markings on the floor to your capsule. Then move all the way across, taking your crew position in the cockpit, and stow all personal items in the compartment in front of you. Then reach up and pull down your restraint. Now listen carefully. Leaning forward, closing your eyes, or looking left or right during your flight could disorient you. So keep your head back against the headrest. Keep your eyes open at all times. And focus straight ahead, even if you change. start to feel disoriented. So you could close your <laughs> They're all yours now. That'd be worse, right? Well, I guess that's everything. They're sick. The Black Mars team. You are on the clock. <laughs> Follow the markings on the floor to your X2 trainer. Follow the markings on the floor to your X2 trainer 
and begin boarding now. Store personal items in the compartment in front of you. Then reach up and pull down on their strap. for SOS? Oh, let's go, bro. <laughs> Here's the board facts. Oh, oh, one more team. I think it's so. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 Navigator. Now, I'm now remember, during Everyone looked okay walking out, so I'm like, okay, we'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you seeing those little kids? I'm like, I'm going to be okay. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Pilot, the X2 is an in. excellent ship. All you have to do is fire the second stage and deploy the shields. Surgeon, how are we doing? All good for launch. Commander, just remember your assignments. First stage separation and manual control. Loading flight plan. Engineer, just a reminder, you will activate hypersleep and extend the wings. Can't even reach it. Warning, instrument panel broken. <laughs> Space sickness bags are located on the instrument panel. That's the closer focal part they mentioned. Yeah. As I say, you can't reach these buttons. Don't do that. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm gonna screw